Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and do you remember when over a month ago I said this? And the second I open up Smart Select, it should know that there is movement. I tap where the video is, hit my three dots. That is where Create GIF should be and maybe could be in the near future. And here we are in the near future and Samsung has added it back in. So let's take a look at this thing. So what you're able to do is as you're watching a video on YouTube, first off, I'm just gonna hit on pause on the video. You open up the little edge panel and here's your AI packed smart select. With Samsung Smart Select, I'd be able to basically highlight this little video that is sitting right there. Sometimes when you just tap on it, it'll just highlight the entire thing for you. Boom, three little dots, create GIF. Samsung was listening. Maybe they watched my video. They listened to all of your guys' comments that you were missing it. And it is back. Now, the cool thing about this one is that it does work on my Galaxy S24 Ultra. It also works on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 as well. And this one wasn't even updated just yet with the latest update. So this one does, does have that latest update for November. And what you can do here that is actually slightly different than the S24 Ultra, maybe this is just one of those things that is a part of Samsung One UI 6.1.1 on the Fold. But when you go inside of your Smart Select over here, and if I want to just highlight this little area, and again, you'd be able to make it you know, however big you want it to be, this, the create GIF is sitting right there. So you can either have the create GIF from the little three little dots, or you'd be able to see the icon on the bottom below what you're doing. So I don't think it's actually sitting inside of the three dots here. As you can see, it's not there, but it is sitting underneath the video. Maybe it's because it's a bigger screen, so it can actually have more area to kind of have, you know, these icons, you know, sketch to image this. With this being a smaller display, maybe it doesn't want to show all of this entire line you know, underneath all of it. So they put it inside of the three dots. That's probably the biggest bet right there of why it is happening. But here we go. Samsung brought it back. Super simple to create gifts from basically using your Samsung Smart Select again. But this is the newer up, you know, updated version with the AI packed Smart Select sitting inside of there. So what does it look like if you're not inside of YouTube? So, you know, if you open this up, you go to Smart Select. Let's just say I tap the entire screen, the three little dots, boom, there is Create GIF. Let's say that maybe we wanted to go inside of the gallery. We wanted to see how that one worked as well, too. So if we take a look at this little video here, if I open this up, tap on Smart Select, I can highlight this little area. Either I can make it as big or as small as I want to. Sometimes it will actually highlight the entire, you know, rectangle for me. Again, inside of here, there is Create GIF. Now, there is one thing that I do want to show you when it comes down over inside of YouTube. So let's say that you're watching YouTube and you did not hit pause. When it comes down to this one, though, when you open this up, you go to Samsung Smart Select and you kind of maybe tap on the top. This is where, you know, you would like to get your video to go. But because you have pop-up view, you know, it kind of pushed it towards the bottom. You still just go through the whole process. You go here, you go to create GIF. And what's going to happen is it's sitting exactly where it should be. But now you just have to pop it right back up. So that's just one thing to take a look at when you're watching a video in YouTube and it's still being played, you know, currently. That's why the first time I did it, I hit pause. So here we go. You have all of the little areas here. You got your four little corners that you can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. You can change it if you want it high quality, if you want it to be standard quality, and you just simply hit on record. So basically, there we go. We have the Create GIF from Smart Select again. So there we go. Every single thing all built into one place. This is what the little GIF is going to look like. And then this is where you can go to either share it immediately so it's not stored inside of your gallery, cluttering up the you know gallery and your storage. Or you can also just hit on download and you have your GIF. Now, don't forget, when you do create your GIFs, you can always go right back in, take a look at it inside of your gallery. You can hit on this little edit button sitting there. And with this one, you can go through and you can make a few adjustments. So if you want this to play, you know, at maybe a, a faster speed, so it looks a little bit more smooth of a GIF, or, you know, you can bring the, the speed down. It's going to be a little bit more choppy. It's going to be, you know, each every single frame is kind of looking like what the old GIFs used to do. You can also make it go reversed and you'd also be able to have the option for boomerang as well. So it'll go back and it'll go forth. So however you want your GIF to look, if you want it to be more smooth, then you can also speed it up just a little bit more. And then this is where you can hit on save. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. I was able to find it just today that they were able to throw it right back in. I don't really know exactly when it was added in, but here we go. Create GIF is back. Use it in any form you want to on your home screens with applications, with YouTube, with the gallery, uh, and you know everything in between. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.